Hey everybody, welcome back to Smoke at Red Barbecue's YouTube channel. Today, um, I've done a couple steaks before, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a steak again to show, I mean, really there is no secret to grilling a steak on any grill you might have, whether it be from a small, like I have, a Weber Smoky Joe, or a, like a, maybe like a big green egg, which I also have too. But anyway, so what I'm trying to do is to show that there's no big secret mystery to, to cooking a steak. It's all about practice. Um, keep doing it multiple times to really get a feel for it. Um, you can do the finger test to see if it's going to be the right tenderness, but it's really going to be just, from my experience, um, it's just it's just going to be about your your experience and your um, and your uh, the how many times you're willing to do something again to get the the result that you want. So I have a bone-in choice ribeye steak uh, today from the store. Just picked it up. We're going to go ahead and use that again. It's we, we're going to be doing a very a hotter temperature today than what we have done before in the Big Green Egg, just, just to show what it, what it can do, how quickly a steak can be cooked on that at a much higher temp, like 650 or 700 degrees, versus what um, you might do on like a, like a normal grill at home, which is like 500 max or something like that. So anyway, I'll stop talking and start doing the, get to the video here, but again, um, no big secret, it just takes uh, time and practice. Um, and here was, um, how nice it's just to be able to practice cooking a steak. Because uh, you get to eat, eat your results and the better, the better you get, the better that steak is gonna taste too. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and watch this video here. And guys, any questions you might have in the future, what I'm doing right now, just please let me know. Thanks everybody. All right, you can see here, the chimney is pretty full. I'm using some uh, competition briquettes from Kingsford today for this, for this cook. And we're just about ready to pour it in. Maybe a couple more minutes longer. And the steak. All right, so it's a um, bone-in choice uh, ribeye steak that we're doing today. Um, I'll go get some olive oil and uh, actually no, it's it's pretty pretty moist already. I can use the olive oil today. I just some um, kosher salt and some uh, black pepper. That's gonna be it. Uh, the grill is, well, the chimney with the charcoal in it, just about ready. I'll go ahead now and um, dump it in and put it on. All right, Sal, this one's for you. Fire in the hole. All right, we'll go let this sit and put the steak on. All right, we're around 650. Let's go ahead and put it on. been 90 seconds. I'll rotate it. Just been a little over a minute. Looking good. One more minute. It's been one more minute. Now we just need to start checking, see how see how uh, done we are. Um, again, this is all based on experience and based on feel. Feels pretty good right now. Um, I'm gonna say that is about 30 more seconds and I'll pull it off. the inside. All right, so we got breasted for about five minutes. Let's go ahead and cut into it.
You see there, got a good, I'd say a good medium on that. <clears throat> yeah, so that's a really good steak. Uh, yeah, the bone and ribeye there, yeah. Um, not sure how well you can see that, but yeah, good, good, um, could, could color your outside with the uh, the hot temperature of the big green egg. It's awesome, awesome machine, awesome tool to cook on. Yeah, I was really happy with this cook. Again, that that's good, uh, good color in there that we haven't gotten before because we got because we went to the hot, higher temperature. But so anyway, it's um again to cook a steak right. I mean, you just have to really um, practice and practice and practice do, doing steaks and like. Well, this well this came out good today. I mean, I have my fair share of steaks that did not come out as I wanted them to. Again, they still taste they still taste very very good. Well, then what do you do? This taste this take steak will still taste really good. It just won't be as good as you want it to be. So, um, again, thanks uh, again for watching, everybody. Again, please any questions any any questions you might have about how this how this cook went or any other cook we have, uh, just let me know. Thanks, everybody.